Welcome to Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo. Do, do. Let's press the start button and let's play a new game. Yes, we really. Welcome, everyone. Anything planned for today, Gromit? Oh, is it his birthday already? Oh, champion! That means a trip to the zoo. Mm. <laughs> uh, did you remember to get him a little uh, something or other? Oh my word! Yes, Archie'll love that. Much fresher than tinned. <laughs> Just the thing for a growing polar bear. He's lucky to have us as sponsors. Clear these things away, lad, and we'll deliver it in person. Padlocked. The zoo should have opened an hour ago. This is a fine how do you do for the books. I'm going to speak to the authorities about this. Ah, uh, uh, Director Inquiries, uh, could you give me the telephone number for West Wallaby Zoo, please? The zoo's gone ex-directory? Well, this is most irregular. I say, just up the... Gromit, what are you doing? What is it, lad? Heavens above, Gromit, it's Archie. And he's sending us a message by airmail. Let me see that. Blinking Nora Gromit. And there's more and all. SOS Archie. The little lad's in trouble. Feathers McGraw. But he's supposed to be doing porridge in the penguin house. There's something pretty fishy going on here, lad, and it's not just Archie's birthday present. Oh, yes. This should get us inside the zoo all right. Remember what they say, lad? The penguin is mightier than the sword. Hmm? Easy over the cobbles, lad. <laughs> Stations, Gromit. Our plan seems to have worked. The penguin has landed. We're inside the zoo, all right, but I can't see any animals. Oh, and now I can't see anything. Oh, uh, you haven't got another 10p, have you, lad? And when we do get outside, lad, no barking at the big cats. Silence will be our secret weapon. Oh, give me a shove, Gromit. Me tank top's caught on the latch. Uh, release that bear cob at once, Feathers McGraw, or I'll, I'll set me dog on you. Boy, come back here, you! <laughs> come back at once! Oh, unhitch me, lad! To the jungle house, lad! And don't spare the horses! Crikey, oh, Riney, Gromit. It's a jungle in here. I wonder who does their windows. Oh, three nuts, lad. Better collect them. Never know when they'll come in handy. Ah, I spy trouble ahead. 
Why are they all working so hard? And look at that young one. Some brute stuck it in a cage. Who'd be so cruel and heartless? Feathers McGraw! And he's using his control thing, I to send the whatchamacallit over the Ujima flip. We're not standing for this. His parents can't rescue him, but by heck, we will. Oh dear. Have a nose around for some more nuts, lad. I may be able to recycle this into something more useful. Okay guys, hello everyone, Chris the Fisher here. Officially I can say hello to you, I can finally uh, actually talk because, wait, we're ready? No we can't, no more talking. Uh, uh number two flathead I think. Hmm, shabby build this. Oh, hey, look out behind, <laughs> nearly got me there. Jesus. What caliber, Gromit? European or full Jamaican long shot? <laughs> look at that action, Gromit. May I present the telescopic banana gun? Thank you. I'm just going to make sure... Oh, what are you doing? All right, so welcome to Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo. Now, I haven't played this game in years. I own it on the PS... Uh, I have it on the PS1... 2, yeah, I have it on the PS2. But I never actually played it for some reason, but I was obsessed with the game when I was a kid. Activate an information point. For some reason, I had it on the PC. I used to play at my dad's computer, but I never, I never actually, like, was able to, um, I was never actually able to, like, play it with a controller, which was really annoying, so I, like, never got that far. Okay, what, what are we doing here? How do you press this button? You need controls. Press the action button. Wait, that's circle. Wait. Sweeter. So you get your inventory here, you, you, that poor thing. Okay, anyway, we'll ignore it. But yes, this is a game that was released on the PlayStation 2, it was released on the GameCube, I think the Xbox, I remember my uh, friend who now lives in Melbourne, uh, Josh Martinelli, I remember he actually played this game. Actually, and yeah, I did play it at his house, and I think he was up to like level 7 or something like that. But um, yeah, it's, it's uh, I remember it being sort of like not that difficult i guess but um, i remember i was a huge fan of wallace and gromit as a kid i remember i watched i watched uh, the wrong trousers that many times uh, i haven't seen it in years but i remember i did watch it back then and i remember i also um yeah, it was a close shave as well okay so let's what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through all these in a certain amount of time it seems easy enough does it Trolls are a little bit awkward. I mean, they're okay. They're not nothing special. Um, I can't remember who developed this. I, I actually forgot. But I know that this isn't. This is the first Wallace and Gromit game. There's another Wallace and Gromit game released a little bit later on. Um, whoa, that was lucky. Uh, I was trying to do like a roll flip or something like that. Oh, we can swim. Good. I was worried that we couldn't. And there we go. How many seconds? 21 seconds. And yeah, pretty much the game is like set set up with different tasks. Pretty much that's sort of how it works. Like you do different different tasks. Um, you need to um, you know you need to collect uh, different what are they called like bolts. Um, you know. It's, it, essentially, it's like Ratchet and Clank. You got to collect a bunch of bolts and stuff like that to unlock different like contraptions and, and things like that. So there we go. One of thirty. I believe that is thirty coins in. I think it's the entire game. I'm guessing. I'm guessing if there's like six levels and like five bosses, then there should be. I think that should be yeah, about five per level. So how do you actually press this like thing? Like, what do, what do you actually have to do? I have I not configured the controls yet properly or something? I swear. Wait. I am an idiot. I mean, there must be a button I'm not pressing. Wait. Maybe I have to put a coin in there or something. No? 
Okay, that's shit. Yeah, I've got no idea. I don't know. This could be like a really dumb thing. But anyway, um, this is the first level, and what we need to do is we need to also rescue a bunch of people. So there's so yeah, there's a lot of different goals in this level in this game. Um, I actually don't know if you need to 100%. You need to get all of these uh, you know, nuts and bolts. <laughs> Banjo, so, um, although I would say you should. Just because, just because I think maybe you need a order to like, unlock like certain things and stuff like that. I know there's like a bunch of things you can unlock uh, in regards to collecting. Oh my okay. god! In regards to collecting like, like movie cutscenes and stuff. <laughs> what is that thing though? What was it? It's like some kind of thing. And yeah, feathers McGraw. He is the villain in the movie, uh, what was it, is it in the wrong trousers? He, he's great, like I kind of sort of like felt bad for him in the series, I remember kind of like feeling a little bit bad, um, but I mean he gets what he deserves I guess, let's see if that works, yeah, he gets what he deserves but still I kind of felt bad, anyway, there, there must be a button I haven't fucking configured, it's like you need 40, right? I think that's what's happened. I think I haven't configured a button. Or maybe I... Keep going, Gromit! Oh, and that's right. I need I need to be able to switch to play. Because you can actually play as Gromit as well. So let's see. If I could... I think... What button was it? Like this one? Wallace yeah. can fix mini devices using nuts and bolts. Yes, nuts and bolts. And then I think, what was it, E? What should we do now, lad? Yeah, that kind of like calls him over, and so I think it is, yeah, ah. On my way. Wait. Better yeah, keep going, is. Bromit. Cool. Okay, so what are we going to do now? It's pretty much like, it's a fairly open world sort of environment, um, to an extent. Oh, shit. And actually, how do you kill, like, bananas as well? Hit, hit the target. Yes. Ah, oh, 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 two out of thirty. Wait, don't. Maybe it is thirty per level. I doubt it, though. Actually, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, let's see if we can rescue this guy. Oh, I think the way you got to do it is uh, first. Let's go over here. I found out what button. I've got to press the R button. Use the joystick to make Gromit swim. Yes, that seems kind of obvious, doesn't it? Now, can we, how do you do the, um, there's like, I know there's like a big jump you can do. Yeah, that, that one, there we go. See, now think about it, right, for me, okay, well that's a bit annoying. For me, that was like an absolute nightmare to do it on the PC version, because I couldn't, like, just, it just didn't, it just didn't properly work, you know what I mean? Anyway, oh, here's some bananas. Yes. Okay, what's this thing? Cool game, very ambiguous game. Right. Actually, ambiguous probably isn't the right word. Wait, one out of six. Oh, what did that do? That did, maybe, maybe I actually seriously, I probably should have done research. But in in some ways, this is almost like a um, like a um, um, what's the word? The word I'm looking for, I can't say because there are preschool toys around. No, but um, let me press this button. Yeah, it's, it's like half, you know, scripted, not scripted, it's like half um, me just, you know, like being blind, because I remember, I don't think I ever, like, ever went to sort of 100% of the levels, I think I just tried to, to do the bare minimum, you know, anyway, this is a cool little challenge where you got to do this kind of thing, in some ways, you know, I don't know why, but it reminds me of Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters, just, even the music actually, Seriously, the music room is—I don't think it's done by art. I don't think the game's done by artificial mind and movement. But, well, how did that happen? There? See that? I did like a double. I did like the momentum of the jump gave me like a roll. See, look, whoa, whoa! How did I do that? That was awesome. I gotta figure out how to do that. I gotta look at the controls seriously. There we go. Another coin. Thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. It almost looks like an Australian coin, like an Australian dollar. Okay. Anyway, now we've got to get to the top. How do we do that? I don't know. I think we could go over here. Actually, actually what we could do is we could um, 
Actually, I'll just press this first as well, just to see what they can say. Boxes and other objects can be smashed with attack. Yes, that makes perfect sense, yes. Okay, um... Let's see, maybe I could... Can I climb on this guy? Right. Come on, you piece of shit. Oh, that... Oh, it's right there, right in front of me. Right in front of me! Right in front of me! If anyone gets that reference, I'll say it has to do with the uh, Adelaide Crows. Robbed right in front of me. 2009 uh, semi-final in the AFL. Anyway, more coins. It is, there is like a satisfying thing about collecting the coins, I must say, like, it is actually really fun, like, I, I, and I really, I, I always, as a kid, I just love the graphics, you know? I always thought, damn, this looks awesome. Use up and down to climb up and down ladders. Use up and down to climb up and down. That, that makes sense. I mean, I shouldn't have to explain this to you, um, Harry. I don't know why I'm some white, no, Gromit. To jump onto a rope. Hold attack and move the joystick. Climb up and down ropes. Hold attack. Ah, yes. Genius. Okay. Anyway, what we're, we're gonna do here is we're gonna swing. Get another momentum. See, like you gotta think as a kid, this is a very appealing game. And I remember, I remember, you know, I got this weird story about this game, right? Is that when I was a kid, Mum said, "Nah, nah, nah. This game isn't on the PlayStation 2. It must have just been on the PC." Because I remember looking for, it. I wanted to buy it because you know, obviously, I had real trouble playing it on the PC. And she said, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's on the um." Okay, is that high enough? Maybe not. Maybe you gotta go a bit higher. Or maybe you gotta jump. Shit! What a freaking fail. Okay. Um. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was um. Yeah, you know, you know, Andrew, you're bullshit. Like it's not, it's not actually out um, on that. You just, you just maybe saw it. You thought it was on the PC, but it isn't. Uh, well, turns out, Mum, you were wrong all along. I promise you that I did see it. And uh, this, well, actually, this display isn't proof, but my game collection is proof. What the hell's that? Okay. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we actually, that's sort of creative that they don't just hand that that. Um, that coin to you, they sort of, you know, it's like, no, you actually have to, um, you know, you have to actually have to make the jump, you know, you gotta try and, you know, use the momentum. Anyway, we'll give it another go. Hold this is the problem. And move the joystick. Climb up and down ropes. Okay. So, really gotta... Come on. Fuck! Jesus Christ! I'm completely stuffing this up. I'm like borderline idiotic when it comes to this. Uh, all right. And actually, I'm not too sure how long these parts will be. But I think I might do them in, in like sections because I know that there's like I think there's more to think. I don't know if it's level two. Like level two is like the next section immediately, or I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know. I, I'd like it to be more than just like eight parts. Climb up and down ropes. Okay. I will climb up and down the ropes, Billy. Come on, Brad, Brad, that's bloody, I don't know, I sound like I have Tourette's right now, just random quotes, okay, it's not enough energy, so what I think I should do is just, Hold attack and move it's the not, joystick. it's not, Climb up and down ropes. my thing is, I reckon what I should do is just, there we go. Sometimes you could, you could, I mean, I could be all fancy, you know, I could be all Iggy Azalea, but the thing is, sometimes it's better to just either cheat it or just do the lazy way like that. Like, that just, that made more sense to me at the time, I guess. Anyway, we can finally venture up this tree. We can finally rescue this uh, poor elephant that has been clearly abused by being in this cage. Okay, there we go. And our button. Boxes. Other objects can be smashed with attack. Sure can. Okay. Uh, another coin. No, okay, I swear it could not be six in the whole like in the level now. Now that I think about it. That wouldn't make any sense. Or maybe it is, I just don't know. Anyway. The question is, how do you get that motherfucker? Okay. Destroy that. And how did okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, this is how. Yes! 
Ah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Whoop. Okay, where to next? Oh, yeah, okay. Right there. <laughs> where to next? It's right in front of me. Right in front of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. Alright. Okay, and you know what the thing is? If you fall off, shit, like, you got hell to pay. Gromit can jump further if running before jumping. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, another coin. Seven. No. They have to be 30 per level. Otherwise, this game is like hell short. Okay. Down there. And. Anything else? Okay. Running before jumping. Oh, man, that was close. That was too risky, seriously. Some health, which we are not in very. Not in much need of right now. And also, listen to the music, right? Or oh, lack of. Um, it's like you can hear the winds when you're up this high. It's kind of cool. Okay. Anyway, down here, and this is it. So. Some objects can be moved if you push them. Yes, like this. How convenient that he left 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 it here to do that. There we go. Done. Thank you, game. Oh no, don't. What? Fall distance. Give me a break, man. Okay, is there any way to avoid that? I'm thinking maybe the only way is to like when you fall. Okay, we don't have lives though, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the plan is. Let's just try and fucking up. How do we Oh you know what, you know, I'm an idiot. I'm a, I'm a complete idiot. The water is saving. Now that, that that's actually smart. I can I appreciate that, to be honest. Anyway, here we go. Open cages. Go up to the cage and press action. Yay! <laughs> nice going, Gromit. There's some weird clipping on the um, like the sound, like the in-game sound, like cutscenes and stuff. It's like you can always hear this sort of clipping sound. Yeah, and look at it. oh my god, this. Let me tell you, that's some Jungle Book shit right there. That is some seriously awesome stuff. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, okay. I don't know. I just for some reason I have this feeling that it's like you don't a hundred percent need all of the um, all of the bolts. I mean, it just feels like it feels like they're more of a just fun collectible thingy. Like then I don't I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know why I get that kind of vibe. Um, but you know what, guys? I reckon I'm actually going to end the part here because there's still some stuff we got to do. So. Can be got from vending machines. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing this uh, in the next part because there's still some more things to do. It might be, maybe, might be a small part, you never know. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm very excited to begin this Let's Play. Hope you check it out. Hope you're enjoying it. And uh, yeah, I shall catch you on the flip side. See you in the next part. And da 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 da